Today we're making a bigger roll. Come on in and welcome to my home. Today we are making a bega, which is a really simple thing to make. It just takes a little bit of time. All right, you're saying, well, what kind of time? What do I have to do with it? Simple. You have to make, this is called a bega. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but this is as close to it as I could find. It's really easy to start this off. All you need is all-purpose flour, whole wheat flour, yeast, and water. Mix those up really well. Make sure that everything is combined and then you're going to cover it. Put it in a room temperature place that does not get drafts or anything for about 8 to 24 hours. After 8 to 24 hours, you have this, which is this lovely bubbly kind of mixture. If your mixture is not like this, you got a problem. Uh, you might want to start over. And you're saying, well, it's sort of like a sticky dough. And yes, yes it is. It's sort of like a sticky dough. I'm going to put this into a new bowl. And now I have learned some of the secrets of this for, through trial and error. You want everything to be about room temperature. So I have my water. So I'm going to add this. And you notice if you look down in the description below, it is divided equally. The description has the first, it was sort of like a mother, and then you have the ingredients for the dough. I'm like, I like to mix up the water into this first to help thin it down just a bit. Then, if your water is room temperature, you can throw in your yeast. Make sure that everything gets mixed up well. And then, your flour. All right. Still mixing while it is not completely mixed up yet. And see, this is where I had all these problems with the ingredients, is just finding the right order. I'm throwing in my salt. I'm using a pinch of sea salt. If you use, say, table salt, regular salt, you'll use about a teaspoon. Now the fun part. We're going to mix this up for about two to four minutes. Once your dough has mixed for about two to four minutes, you're going to put it in a super well greased bowl. You want to make sure that this bowl is greased really, really well. And what I like to do is I put it in the bowl, then flip it over so that I know that all the sides are greased. Then I'm just going to cover this and let this rise at room temperature in a draft-free environment for about another hour to two hours. Once this has risen, we're ready to form the rolls. It has been two hours, and of course, my dough has risen nicely. I'm going to punch it down. Well, actually, it deflates itself. Then I'm going to start dividing it. My hands are lightly floured, and you see that I do have flour right there. And I'm going to divide it into eight approximately equal pieces. Do I think that I'm going to get these exactly equal? No, no I don't. Um, but we'll try to get it equal. Then I'm going to put them onto my uh, silicone lined pans. There we go. Now what we do is we're going to cover these and let them raise for about an hour to two hours. It just depends on how, you, how much time you have. I'm going to see how long I've got because I've got other things, of course, cooking and everything because it is a baking day. So I'm going to cover these, let them raise, and then we'll come back. Our rolls have risen. It's been about an hour. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into my 450 degree oven for about 13 to 15 minutes and let them bake until they are finished. So let's get baking. Our rolls are out of the oven. Let's crack one open. Crunchy texture on the outside. Mmm, nice and light and airy on the inside. These rolls are amazing. I mean, they have that nice light taste. They're not sweet, but they're also not just this horrible... Like, have you ever had that bread that just doesn't have a really good taste? These rolls have a great taste. You could use them as sandwich rolls. You could use them for dinner rolls. Whatever kind of rolls you want to make. And realistically, it only took time. Now, yes, some of you are saying, well, that was a lot of time. I'll admit that it does take a lot of time, but it's a lot of time of you not really doing anything. You just sort of wait to let it raise and do its own thing. These rolls are one of those fun things that you could make 
and then just go about your own day, especially if you're doing other things, but you want to have fresh made bread. It doesn't take a lot of kneading, that sort of thing, just simple things. And you notice I didn't use any equipment whatsoever. I used what I just used a bowl and a spoon. That is it. So simple to make. Now, if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Every Tuesday is a recipe, and I love making these recipes for you. And I hope I get to see you again next time.